organization is inside the cannabis sector should be looking at from retail, distribution, and manufacturing. Hey everyone, Brian Hoagley. Welcome back to CISO Life, brought to you by Side Channel. You can find me anywhere down alongside Twitter, LinkedIn, and obviously subscribe on YouTube. Follow us there. Today, uh, we wanted to talk about a couple of emerging markets that we're seeing within the cybersecurity space that may need to take some serious uh, looking into as, uh, as they both grow. One of them, the first one I want to talk about, is actually the cannabis industry. In Massachusetts here, we recently, well, a couple years ago, voted yes on question four and legalized recreational cannabis. So when we look at cannabis and what's happening there, I want to kind of break it down into, obviously, the agricultural space, right? And you've got, let's just call the manufacturing uh, or the growing operations. You have also uh, distribution. And then you also have retail. And I'm sure in there you also have wholesale um, and, you know, other ways to distribute, you know, to your consumers, whether it's to businesses, wholesale, whatever. But when you look at this space, it's interesting to break down where are the cybersecurity concerns. Uh, traditional retail areas you have, point of sale systems, so you have privacy concerns, credit card information, and big one is obviously PCI. Within the distribution space, you have your traditional corporate and your enterprise security concerns, right? Any type of front office, back office operations, as well as potentially any type of logistics and warehousing. These are now more automated, right? We're seeing much more computer systems, systems like ERP systems and such, tapping into the logistics and the warehousing, right? So how do you protect those areas as well? And then obviously looking at your grow operations, you've got lighting, you've got water, you have uh, your regular farm equipment, and then you have a large growing uh, components and things such as sensors, right? Really all of these within this manufacturing space are now what we you know, have been calling OT, operational technology. And this is an ever-growing concern and area within cybersecurity because these systems are routinely, as we've seen, don't have security built into them. They are should be cordoned off from the rest of the environment, the IT infrastructure and such. But anyway, an, an area to really start thinking about. So these three areas become very, very uh, interesting to look at. So let's break down some of some of the concerns in areas that uh, any type of organization is inside the cannabis sector should be looking at from retail, distribution, and manufacturing. So within cannabis, looking at the first section, let's start nearest the consumer, retail, and move our way backwards through distribution and then obviously to the manufacturing and farming areas. Retail is going to be looking at point of sale systems. They're going to look at regular traditional infrastructure, kind of like your corporate front end, right? Maybe they have some other offices, login systems, things like that. And then also potentially, and this is obviously point of sale for brick um, operations, as well as e-commerce. But then you have your obvious e-com platforms that you have to consider. So when you're looking at retail and what they have to look at, if I'm the CISO walking into and looking at the retail operation of a cannabis uh, dispensary, right, um, I'm going to want to make sure that my point of sale systems are secure. Am I using a third party? Ideally, I am. Now I'm outsourcing that. What does the security and application security of that third party look like? Looking at my infrastructure, my front end, right? How are my people logging on? How are they getting into any type of their own accounting, their HR, their other systems? I mean, this is just a large traditional business structure. And this is very, very standard and probably very similar to any other commercial outfit whether it's inside of cannabis or not. So looking at your regular infrastructure, have you done any type of an assessment? Do you have your organization built against any type of framework? Is there a security program in place? You're usually gonna start with this, and then you're probably gonna look at your regulations like PCI. And many, I don't know, if you have some, uh, some ones around privacy, maybe because of local or state regulations that are brought on, by 
the laws that are allowing for recreational cannabis, this could be an area to look at as well. Then obviously you have your e-commerce front end. If you're selling online or allowing anything to be online, that I'm going to look at your application security and really dig into what is that platform. Most people are probably buying or renting, leasing, using some type of SaaS provider to be their e-commerce. So they're not building it from the ground up. Either way, you still want to be looking at the, app the application security and the infrastructure security of what that e-commerce platform is and who that provider is. So again, if I'm a CISO and I'm looking at establishing a program for a retail operation, my kind of baseline is obviously PCI. That is a regulatory requirement. We want to start there. On top of that, we want to build our framework, if it's NIST or something else, against what the infrastructure, the traditional corporate environment is. And we, you know, last want to be, or maybe in parallel, really looking at the application security and the point of sale security of what's going on in that operation. Can, of course, discount the things that fall into this space here in your infrastructure. There's your training, there's your governance, and all of that. Anyway, a quick look at retail. Now, let's look at distribution. Now, within distribution, you're going to have, obviously, moving anything from manufacturing, which we'll get to, into your retail or your wholesale operations. Basically, how do you get things going from farm to table, if you will? So your distribution are going to have, again, your traditional infrastructure or corporate security components. This will be, obviously, your front end, your HR, your accounting, file shares, other shares, information that you're sharing within your organization. So again. I'm looking at some type of framework that can establish an overarching security program for this entity. Specific though to distribution areas I would be looking at would be anything around their logistics operations or their warehousing. These two areas are obviously where we're gonna find probably the most amount of risk within a distribution for a, can or for a cannabis uh, operation. Why? Because this is where your assets are. This is where your inventory sits. So seeing as though distribution is all about moving inventory out to sellers, this is where I would hone in on and consider my highest business risk areas. Obviously, infrastructure and corporate are important, but I'm really wanting to look at what's going on with my warehousing operations, the systems that are being used, the applications that are being used for my, app, for my logistics. This is where I will be looking at application security for logistics. Warehousing, I'd be looking at actually physical security controls, as well as any other type of OT controls that could be used to help move warehousing, move the logistics within warehousing, move any type of inventory or assets, moving it around. It's all about movement. So what type of physical security controls? Obviously badging in, badging out. You don't want a large concentration of your inventory to be susceptible to pure theft. So allowing the right people in, allowing the right people who are inside now moving within the organization or within the warehouse to the areas that they're supposed to be. You've got your loaders, your unloaders, you've got your, your managers, anyone who is moving anything from aisle to aisle or storing if it's in cold or if it's in warm aisles, whatever it is. You've also probably got a, a growing amount of OT or operational technology. This is probably going to be used from in like a sensor, uh, you know, kind of position, right? Or, or usage. The positioning could be like a, you know, uh, temperature sensors, light sensors, uh, product degradation sensors, gas emission, um, movement emission as well. Maybe you've got kind of motion detectors. Maybe you have automated uh, warehouse uh, conveyors or lifts that are operating and moving around, moving product, loading product into uh, trucks for eventual distribution out to retail or other type of wholesale operations. We don't know, but like either way, you've got a, a, a larger reliance on OT. How do you look at the security of that? How are those sensors installed? What networks are they installed? Who has access to those sensors? There's a lot that goes on within operational technology, especially when you start looking at warehouse operations. So again, if I'm a CISO and I'm looking into a distribution operation within cannabis, I'm gonna to wanna to build out obviously a standard infrastructure uh, corporate type of program, cyber program, based on a framework. Um, I'm gonna wanna dig directly into the application security of logistics, right? If something goes wrong within this, now we're diverting products and inventory to the wrong people, the wrong places, it very well happen. And then digging in at the lowest layer, really, 
the physical security controls, potentially uh, managed over a network, predominantly, many of them are now, as well as the operational technology of what is happening within that warehouse, sensors, lights, temperature, gauges, really anything that you can think of now um, is fitting into this OT or even the IOT type of space. But again, it's focusing on the inventory. The business risk here within a distribution is obviously your inventory. You don't want spoilage. You don't want theft. Now we'll look at uh, where we grow, right? Let's look at manufacturing operations now that we've looked at distribution. All right, now let's look at grow or manufacturing operations within the cannabis sector. First, obviously, you have your plants and anything that's going to be coming off of those. But looking at your plants, you've got watering, right? You have um, temperature. You have light. You have soil. And specific within cannabis, you actually have potency and strain. These are areas that I don't know if we're looking at when we're growing corn or wheat, but either way, looking at your manufacturing operations or any type of grow facility, okay, these are now all managed by sensors, right? And these sensors are what we have within OT or operational technology. Operational technology, much like IoT, right, is like IT, except focused more on actual operations, things that you know used to actually be manual work, now managed by networks, controls, sensors, people behind them. So think about a grow operation that has sensors within the soil, right? That's my best drawing of a plant, sorry. Um, you have obviously some type of overheads that's looking at rain, you have light, all of these now are being controlled by a network. And that network is attached to your infrastructure or some type of upstream, maybe an HM, what's traditionally known as an HMI, but you've got all of these systems feeding data back into these systems. And this data is now making its way into a corporate environment for review. You need to be able to control access to these. Otherwise, any type of bi-directional access into your OT environment is going to cause you problems. Why? Because what happens if you're dependent on light and now light is turned off or watering is impacted or the wrong strain is being uh, followed? and you distribute the wrong thing, the wrong inventory to the wrong area. These can all cause very real problems. So you need to be looking at your OT environment and grow and manufacturing operations are gonna have infrastructure, security, your standard corporate security as well, but they're also gonna have a reliance on all of these. So if I'm a CISO looking at a grow or manufacturing operations within the cannabis sector, we don't want to build some type of a framework inside of my infrastructure, my traditional corporate environment, right? Your HR, your back office. That is going to then be pulling data, obviously, from your OT environment, your floor, your grow operations, your greenhouses, whatever it is that you may have. If it's indoor, if it's outdoor. Well, we're going to want to look at, obviously, the sensors. And there's probably more sensors here than this, especially when you start factoring in uh, farming equipment if it's not being picked by hand. And then obviously any type of processing that's happening if it's happening within the manufacturing space, processing systems and things like that. I'm going to want to look at how does the corporate environment connect to this data-rich OT environment? And what are we doing around the security of both the data, its integrity, as well as the access to and the control of these sensors? Are they segmented at all? Or is this just one big open flat network? God forbid, is it one big open flat network for all of corporate and the OT environment? If that's the case, we're gonna have real problems. OT professionals will tell you that at the very least, there should be some type of segmentation between your front office, your back office operations, and anything within your OT environment. And you actually start structuring it down based on the Purdue model, lower and lower different levels of controls. 
If I'm a CISO, I'm looking for this type of micro segmentation, this type of segmentation between front, between OT and manufacturing. And I'm looking at specifically the security of these sensors, the access to these sensors, where the data is going and who's using and how that data is being used. Anyway, just some ideas here to be looking at within the grow and manufacturing space within the cannabis sector. Of course, obviously this applies to industrial agriculture, really in any other uh, plant or product that's being produced. But I'm seeing that the cannabis sector and what it's doing, where it's going, is going to need to start really taking a hard look at the security posture of its own operations to secure its product, its supply chain, as well as its future. Anyway, Brian Hoagley, thanks for listening. Just some ideas. Make sure you follow us down on YouTube. You can follow me anywhere down on LinkedIn or on Twitter. Brian Hoagley with CISO Life. Take care.